consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning. Sherry. How Today are you? Today is Purple Day. Purple Day in honor of every cancer survivor in the world, everybody who went through the process, dealt with the chemo. We have to say we are praying, praying, praying for Selena because this chemo has kicked her rear end. But she is going to be fine. She's going to be well. We're gonna say we're gonna beat it. We're gonna we're going to war with cancer. Say we're some going to war with me. cancer. I start again today. I start my I chemo know. again today. I know. And and for everybody who knows, um, I got some news I didn't want to hear, and we're not gonna talk about much about it, but I'm gonna ask you to please put me on your prayer list. Early, 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 early is, is the key to that. Early detection. I have a biopsy scheduled next week. Um, they at at one of the hospitals, they couldn't get me in quickly enough, and so whining and moaning me said I'm not waiting that long I want to get this done so my dear friend the amazing the awesome the incredible Carol Cook set me up with an amazing surgeon and I'm Super. so excited we're gonna get the answers that we need um, it has gone from small to bigger we're gonna take care of it we're gonna take care of it and I, and I need prayers because next Thursday at 10 a.m. I check into Northside down in Atlanta. And, and you're gonna be great. And, and they're gonna get this little critter. I've right. named it, but I can't she say it. She named it a bad name, and I told I her she couldn't on, say the name on the air. On the air I have it. not named mine, because mine's not gonna stay with me long. I'm gonna zap it well, and be done. I'm gonna send this one a goodbye card. I've already packed yes, its bags, yes, and it's yes. on its way. So next Thursday, y'all put Jen on your prayer list, and it is Thursday morning. I'll be there morning. Thursday. And, well, I have to be there at 10. My procedure is scheduled for about 12. It takes about an hour. hour Can we or say so. something mean on the air? Say it. Cancer. It really does. Hans Ruffer said you. it best. It really, <laughs> it really yes. does. And but today I'm wearing purple. I'm wearing my purple for my Selena uh, pancreatic cancer awareness. Um, you know, I've, I've said I have a long life expectancy I've because got my, my purple family on with lives my port, for where it's a little ever. purple right here. So I've got my purple on. And and I. Um, I'm the same exact age my mother was. I have the same exact Don't think about process, that. but time, it's gonna mine's time going is away. Different. Mine's time going is away. Different. Yeah. Things are different than Absolutely. when our, our parents or our families mine's going bye -bye. Had, had problems. Um, bye bye. No, it's just all gone in these adios little critters, amigo. These little critters are <laughs> See, go I've learned two words. I've been around Evelyn all these years and I've learned <laughs> adios amigo. <laughs> 
crazy is that? We are just getting used to this set. It's a little bit weird for me because we have some shadows and it kind of makes me feel a little, I've got a little bit spooky. I've got a shadow right here that I see in this light. And I, I, it drives it's me crazy. funny because it's my nose and I know it's my nose. <laughs> and I can, I'm not always able to see my nose. Well, we are happily being produced and directed by Caleb and by Donovan and we have new, two new crew guys and we are going to break a, them in like we really do all of them. That's a really good looking control room <laughs> so over there. I we're going to break them in like we do all of them. We're going to scare so them to death and break nice them in. It was to see Donovan after <clears throat> all these years. He was always yep. such a nice young man. And Donovan was up late last night because Sherry had a special project for Donovan. Uh -oh. You're going to get to see it pretty soon. And it starts with a very, very special lady from here in Ella J. And you know he doesn't say no to anything. No, he's a good boy. He's a good, <laughs> he's a good boy. He's, he's a, good a boy. man nowadays. He's he not is. A boy he's anymore. 30 years old. Yeah, oh my Caleb's gosh, that's crazy. Not a, Caleb's not a boy. They're all... They're they grew all, up with they've us. They've all grown up into to really nice Did we raise men. them right or not? I don't know. Well, I think you've, <clears> you've beaten them with a steel brick sometimes. Speaking of raising them right, i got to tell y'all, today we just listed 70 77.26 acres over in Whitfield County and you talk about raised right this belongs to a wonderful family who's raising four amazing kids they are I just adore this family and they are so precious and we're putting this property on the market it is great for you can go over there and camp every weekend you can take your four wheelers you can ride you can go build yourself some houses you can do whatever the heck you okay, want where to is Whitfield? 77 Dalton right. oh Dalton. from here Dal it's so right. close just across 76 77 acres for three hundred and nine thousand dollars that is like the deal of the century it has a beautiful creek on it it has Did a you small call pond on heck? it no, Tech doesn't need to buy anymore. Tech needs to sell some. <laughs> tech is like overwhelmed. No, he was talking to me about a house in my neighborhood the other day he's wanting to buy. He so. likes rentals, but this is this is perfect for a is family this just compound. Land? Is this just land? Yes. It's just land with a tiny, tiny little cabin and an old corn crib. Do you know what a corn crib is? I most certainly do. I'm a city slicker. Not, I'm not a city slicker. I'm, I just started to say, wait a minute. What did somebody We've say? I'm hillbilly mm -hmm. No, you've been up here long <laughs> enough. I'm the one that found out what a... But it has a corn crib a, on it. A, the authentic, beautiful, in great condition corn crib. The Davenports and teaching us down and yes. in, in that Oh my God, I miss him so area, much. And Miss Barbara, we love you, we love you, we and love stuff. you. And I miss going by there and seeing all of that beautiful land yep. not being plowed yep. up. We've like lost it has so many been. friends. We've lost so many friends. Oh oh God, I was supposed to make some Evelyn vegetable to salad bring. today, but That's we didn't right. cook. We didn't no, we cook. Didn't. When you changed the design, We didn't cook we, because will, Sherry's been on cook, the phone with it. surgeons and nurses and doctors and surgeons and MRIs and Sherry's been on well, the phone, so we didn't cook today. Sometimes gets in the way, but the next time we cook, <clears> depending on what you're making, yep. I will make Evelyn's pickled vegetable yes, salad. we're going to have that. I don't have to worry because you and I are going to fight over that. Okay, I this weekend it. I had at an event that Susan, thank you, thank you, thank you for forcing me to do this because I, she said, I know you're busy with real estate on Saturday and I know you don't like to drive to LJ on Saturday, but please, please, please do this for Focus. Focus has done so much for our community and when I thought about telling her the word no, I couldn't do it. No, I, I couldn't was, do it. I so I did the parade. It, it was got, fun. Yeah, we shut down for COVID just a day or two before the parade. Well, it was it was so much fun and um, thank you to my chauffeur who, um, it, it was so hysterical and I'm not going to tell the story now, but when he comes to do the show in a couple of weeks, he's going to bring all his guitars. He's a, he's a, he's a, can I say the word renowned guitarist? I guess, I don't know. He has all these guitars and he's going to line them up and come and play or whatever. I don't know what he's going to do with them. But it was so funny because he said, you've heard my song, haven't you? I said, no, sir, I haven't. And he said, what? <laughs> 200,000 people have heard my song and you've never heard it? I said, no, sir, I haven't. So I kind of embarrassed myself. But then but I told up. him the whole story and then it was good. You'll catch up. And we have a history as far back as the Rebel Inn. So y'all are going to hear some music in the near future from the days of the Rebel Inn. And okay. for everybody who remembers. Can we say Rebel nowadays? It, well, I don't care. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with Rebel. I mean, I'm good. I, honey, I got Aunt everything. Jemima on the set. Come on, get real. Aunt Jemima was a historical, wonderful, beautiful black lady who made the best syrup in the world. Oh, and oh my goodness. And they took and her got, down. I've got the best rice still in my cabinet, my Uncle Ben's rice. And yep. you know what? Yep. All it's I crazy. think about is good rice. Crazy. You, no. can't, you can't mess with well, history. Well, you had a good time. I had a great time. Soapbox Derby. Soapbox Derby was Successful. absolutely fantastic, y'all. 
The fall one is tentatively scheduled for September 17th, and we'll talk about that later on and in the year. And I'm, I'm very proud that a lot of girl drivers were we there. We had almost equal number, and I'm telling you, these girls were, were serious. Serious. <laughs> they were not there looking for a boyfriend. Yeah. They were there yep. to win races. Let me tell you something. I, I showed up at Houston Brothers Drag Strip in Fairburn, Georgia in the 60s, and I beat a driver who was like the chosen driver, and somebody said, well, what does she think? She she just beat Reed Wisner, and I said, yes, I did. I was shocked to death. Get out of the way. It was hysterical, and I went home and took that trophy that night, and my mama said, what's that? And I said, I won that at the drag strip, and she was like, oh, my God. She was like, oh, I can't believe you do this. Well, we may have to. And I said, Mama, the key is, is stopping before you hit the pond at the end of the drag strip. Well, you know, we've, <laughs> we've, we've lost our M&M car. Yes. We've yeah. lost our M&M yeah. car. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know what's going to happen to our M&M driver. And number three, number three look at Chase. being run, number three being run by an Earnhardt again. It's exactly. like, to me, that is like racing is coming, coming back. Coming back around. Yes, I want to see number three on the track and I want an Earnhardt driving. Well, it. we need to congratulate young Chase because look at how he won Dover. Yeah, Dover, yes. How he won yes. Dover. What a good kid. What a good, I mean, good that, kid. That group had, all had three cars in the top. Yep. They really yep. did a lot of yeah. them. We're not going to talk about fantastic. that we didn't do. but Yeah. Well, well, Soapbox Derby raised how much money for Fannin County? You know, I, we don't know yet because money is still coming in. Uh, have you heard uh, any, there's a meeting this week, next, next Tuesday, on what's happening. But it was just amazing because the thing that also made me feel good is was watching Is this the first time parents. this has ever no, happened? No, this is the okay. third. Okay. This is the third. And last year... It was just coming out of COVID and mm -hmm. it wasn't as big, but it was absolutely a riot. And we even had school resource officers drag racing against each other. Oh, we I had love the it. mayor of Blue Ridge in, in her blue sundress who was in a car <laughs> racing. I love but it. But watching parents and children interact together was so beautiful. And watching several men who have grown children. One man in particular who bought the, who made the car that won several races last year built his car, his his outlaw class car this year, and he just built the car because it was a good time and he brought it and they drew a name for the little boy that wound up driving the car. How cool is that? But it's so interesting to watch and the different categories and the different and some cars were raced over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Some were raced less. Some of the <coughs> graphics on the cars were unbelievable, looked like NASCAR cars. Yeah, yeah. And we had a, a Fannin County fire truck with a, a, a Dalmatian on it and a siren, and we had a Fannin County Sheriff's Office with the red and blue lights just a flashing away. And you know, one of the things that you mentioned, I'm so proud of Rhonda, who started here, she was a teacher, and then she started here at ETC. Rhonda is the reason I'm at ETC today because Rhonda had Hans Rufert and Sherry Martin do shows at her house in Fannin County, Flavors of the South. Flavors of the South. Flavors of the South. And from that, here I sit, 17 years later, oh you gosh, think about that. that 17 is. years ago, she invited me to do a show. My husband had been gone three and a half years, and a reporter came to visit, and then the rest is history. And it was so much fun. I was intimidated to death, and it's so weird now because I'm like, when I when I met this gentleman who drove me in the parade, he, he's been here, he's done the show, he's, you know, and but I've had over 2,000 guests, and I'm like, sometimes I forget things, and I laughed about that because I said, you I will forget never forget guests, doing, so you're so tight on that. well, I'll never forget doing Flavors of the South because my knees were knocking, y'all. I was a nervous wreck. Can y'all imagine believe. me being no, nervous about I anything? I've watched you in I was, situations Because on air. I came on behind Hans Rufert, and I was like, but he's Hans. He's Hans. And I've known Hans since he was four years old, but I was nervous. But Hans is still Hans. Hans is Hans. You put a knife in, you put a knife in Hans' hands and anybody gets he's intimidated. He's the master. He's when he the master. When he starts cooking or he's, the day he says, now, Jen, let's try it this way. And I thought, man, Sherry learned that from you. Let's do it this way. But it's, no. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a young man who, taught, who well, has today, been through so much. Today we are honoring mothers. And, and I have to say, precious Donovan Jones stayed up just near all night long because Sherry sent him the impossible task and he did it on cue on oh, time. Oh, it was so good to see him I again. Know, I know, so I'm excited. I want y'all to enjoy, enjoy what we're about to share with you. This is a lot of pictures of you, your families, your friends. It is a big surprise for somebody in Ella J who has no idea that she's going to open this little tribute 
and it's to a lot of amazing moms and a mom is not always somebody who has had children. A mom is often somebody who is an aunt or a great aunt who takes who takes somebody under their wing. A mom doesn't have to be a biological <laughs> mom to be the best mom in the world. Let me tell you who paid for my birth. My aunt Louise. I was twenty-five dollars to be born. Twenty-five dollars. Y'all go get you an OBGYN you today. You can't get the door. You can't get the door <laughs> open anywhere for twenty-five dollars. My aunt Louise paid for my birth at Downey Memorial Hospital in Gainesville, Georgia. My mother was in a home for unwed mothers until she was eight months pregnant with me, and she was going to give me up for adoption. And she decided to get on a bus and come back from Virginia to Hall County, Georgia, where she gave birth to me. She had 50 cents in her pocket, and I still have that 50 cent piece. And I still have the maternity outfit she wore at that time. She chose to keep me rather than give me away. She chose to keep me rather than abort me. Well, and I said, those decision. are the choices of your life that you have to make yourself. And for every single day of my life, I'm so very thankful for my mom because even though my life has had its ups and downs and hiccups and craziness, she loved me beyond measure. So on Mother's Day, yeah, we have to salute those moms. And we have to say whatever kind of mom you are, whether you're a stepmom, a, a, a great aunt who has taken care of, of those kids who were left behind when maybe your sister passed away or something. You know, you just think about a mom isn't just that person who gave birth. So I have a friend and she adopted this precious little boy four years ago and five years ago. And you watch Jennifer and Brock together and you talk about a woman that God put on this earth to be a mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just would not. So a mother's that, not that just she, that normal she thing. She didn't give yeah. birth to him, but let me tell you, she felt every pain. She and gave every, life to him. She gave life to him, and she's giving him a life that's unbelievable. Yep. Yeah. And I, I absolutely believe in adoption. And Brock knows he was chosen. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. started telling him before he could even talk is that they chose him. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. love that. That's I'm awesome. just very, very much in favor well, of all that. Well, here we so go. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. And we are and going happy to Mother's salute. Day to you. Thank you. We're going to salute everybody, including those moms who have heavenly daughters, heavenly They're sons. They're still watching There are a them. lot of people who, who will not be able to celebrate with their children. So we're going to celebrate with them. So here we go to a Mother's Day tribute that Donovan put together last night. I haven't seen it. I have no idea, but I'm excited for it. I'm looking at the mom for that.
Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi, not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. y'all enjoyed that so many faces so it. many familiar faces we have another one of those another one so we couldn't get them all in one so toward the end of the show we're gonna have another one you know when we look back at the women who've influenced us I can't think of anybody more in my life than mrs. Chris Overton who was the counselor at Henry Grady High School in Atlanta where I was a student and she called my mother in and she made a suggestion that made my mother cry and mother cried and cried and cried and Chris said, Hazel, she's bored. She only needs three credits. Let her disenroll from school and go to night school, get her credits and let her go to work. My mama said, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but it changed my life forever. I went to work for one of the biggest law firms in Atlanta. I met the most amazing people. I met Maynard Jackson. I, I was actually at Martin Luther King's funeral. I met so many cool people in Atlanta because of where I was planted by my I school know how counselor. Many times we crossed paths. Well, there's no telling. Even know when we talk about things it's like that, it's crazy. But really a school counselor made a difference in my life, making a recommendation that most counselors wouldn't make. But she said, Hazel, she's bored. She is absolutely bored to death. She wants to be at work. And I did. I'm still at work today. I'm old and I'm still at work. But I want to honor a teacher. She wasn't a counselor, but she certainly was a counselor. Miss Kate Payne is one of the first interviews I ever did for television, and this was long, 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 long time ago. We need to remember ago. the influence that our <coughs> teachers and counselors and all of our, even the school lunchroom ladies, have on our children. They so speak many to them, times, they make them, yes. They have them longer in a day than we do at home, and we don't give them the credit that we need to. And, and sometimes if somebody in the lunchroom knows that a kid is hungry or doesn't have, they might give them a little something extra. A little extra sandwich, you know, extra milk, there's, absolutely. There's something about that connection at school. And so today, I have to honor, I couldn't do a Mother's Day program without honoring Kate Payne. So we're going to go to an old, old interview. Now, I looked really old in this. This means your hair is really black. 
No, I looked old. <laughs> I looked old. I look tired in that. I don't feel so tired today. You know, I'm battling. <clears throat> I'm trying to save my life, and I feel better than I felt in years, and I'm. I don't understand what's going on with my body, but I got to deal with it. Okay. But in okay. this, I looked old and tired. Look at what I'm going through, and I feel better and you than look I've great. felt in a very long yeah, time. Yeah. And here I'm going. I'm starting it's weird. chemotherapy again today, it's and weird. I'm sitting here thinking, "Well, this is just weird." It's my hair's, weird. My hair is so thick. I had to go get a haircut yesterday. Yeah. And I was sitting there thinking, "Okay, baby doll, it's going to start falling out again. Wonder if it'll come back in straight." I don't but that's know. that's part of what we have. But. We're fighting it. And well, we're the being reason positive. they kept checking everything with me, we watched mm -hmm. this, and in a year it went from one centimeter to three. But you and said your hormones were good. You talked to James about those last week. Everything, all my numbers week. were good. So it's very misleading that all your numbers are good, and then they finally find the problem, and you're like, we knew there was a problem, and we've been watching the but problem. But you were looking for it. You didn't ignore it. You did the I right did thing. I did not ignore it. You did no. the right thing. And and through all of this, I just kept being quiet, waiting, watching, hoping that it would just, I guess, disappear, and it didn't. It grew. So so we deal with it. We deal with it. But it your hair... The where they found it, and you know what? My hair was the one thing that they couldn't get the answers for, and now we have an answer. Well, you look pretty so good. We have an answer. Thank you. I have some hair. Not much, but I got some hair. <laughs> okay. We're going to go now to this interview. This was done years and years and years ago. Miss Kate Payne, we were at the uh, First Baptist Church in Jasper. I interviewed Charles Walker, uh, Ray, and um, George McLaughlin, and Miss Kate Payne. They were my first three interviews. When because you first started your shows? When I first started doing North Georgia Now Today. Okay. And, um, it was important to me to honor the people that made a difference in my life, and a teacher is one of them. So let's, if you're, if you're in Jasper and you were in school in those years, and a lot of our viewers were, mm -hmm. you will know Miss Kate Payne, and she will, you will know that she was firm, she was, but she was so loving and such a sweet, sweet lady. So here we go to a, a little interview with Miss Kate Payne. Words of wisdom from an educator. Miss Kate Payne is my guest today. Now, Miss Payne, tell me how many years you've been in Pickens County. I've been here 60 years. And you are now 88 years old? I am now old. 88, that's and right. And an active 88, aren't yes. you? Yes. I really am. Now, education was important to you. Very important. And you we, started a little bit later than most? Yes. I, I, when my older daughter was in the fourth grade and the younger one in the second, mm -hmm. I went to school at North Georgia. Wow. And got my degree and then started teaching. And we know working moms, going to school, that's a tough job. It is, very tough. That's a tough, tough job. Did you drive back and forth? How did you I, do that? No, I never learned to drive. I was one of those strange old ladies that oh never my learned goodness. to drive. Let me teach you. <laughs> I'll teach you to drive. And <laughs> so I went back and forth with friends and, okay. you know, we would pay to go and mm -hmm. I spent one quarter at North Georgia. The rest of the time was traveling. Back and forth. Back and forth. Wow. To Dahlonega? Yeah. Across the mountain? Yeah. Wow. Well, and the education paid off, didn't it? It did, it and did. I have thoroughly enjoyed my teaching years. I've taught around 2,000 Pickens County children, give or take a few. What grades did you teach? Fifth grade, all Fifth grade. my grade. Fifth grade. Now, was it just fifth grade? They had one teacher for the whole? No. Part okay. of the time, I taught everything. Part okay. of the time, I taught reading and English, mm -hmm. and we were departmentalized. They were grouped according to ability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I have a really pretty handwriting, and do you know why I have a pretty handwriting? No. My fourth grade teacher, Miss Jordan, had a beautiful handwriting, and it was my goal to copy that. Oh, how nice. And, and I hope that people have copied your lifestyle, because you've given a lot, haven't you? Yes, but I think they have, because I still, when I go to town here locally, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I almost always see mm -hmm. one of my children. Right. And they'll say, Miss Payne, you don't remember me, but I was in your fifth grade That's class, right. and of course, you know, sometimes I remember them and sometimes I don't. Because I have taught, as I said, around 2,000, uh -huh. give or take a few. Wow. So. And was that at Jasper Elementary? All, there was either one or two years at Tate, and then I came to Jasper, and the rest of my years were at Jasper. Well, you may have had my mean little brother. He was in the third grade at Tate, Roy Dobbs. No, Did you teach Roy? I, I didn't well. teach the third grade. I taught <laughs> okay. the fifth down there. Okay. Well, Roy went to Tate to school and then came to Jasper. But um, when we left Atlanta, Roy was in the third grade. 
And he went to Samuel S. Inman, which was a pretty big school down yeah. there. And then they moved to Tate. And he loved the idea. You know, they lived in the company house right yeah. there beside the school. So what an awesome thing to get to walk to school. And the teachers were friends, you know, yeah. because they lived around you. And, and that's one of the advantages of being a teacher in a small yeah, community. Yeah, it is. You do steal people. Oh, who, yeah. You see people every day who remember you. Yeah, that's right. And it's, it's a really wonderful reward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I said school teachers didn't ever make much when I was teaching, but they still don't. But I guess I had a pretty big impact on a lot because I have many of my students who have become teachers. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So I, because you know you made an impression. I, yeah. I'm sure yeah, I must yeah, have. Yeah. Now, now, what do you do to stay busy? Well, I, I'm not in the best of health. My mind still works, mm -hmm. but I don't get around very well. I, my balance is poor and. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of arthritis. But you're sharp as a tack. Well, thank you. <laughs> my knees, I read a lot, yeah. and I, I'm very active in my church. Mm -hmm. And community affairs, uh -huh. I love to go and, and see. In fact, I've been to five or six things this week. Did you go with us on the trip to Alabama when we went to Alabama over to Fibber's restaurant and took the group from the church to eat? Did uh -huh. you go last year? We took a couple of bus loads. I don't remember. Okay. I'll just be, and now, okay. where did we go? We went over to Alabama, to Cedar Bluff, Alabama. And yes, lunch. I did go. You did make I that did, trip. Yeah, so I had you to do stop and think. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. That was a good trip. Yes. And, and one of the reasons we're here today is because another wonderful person from Jasper left a legacy called the Angel Fund to feed the senior citizens of the First wonderful. Baptist Church. And, and you know, that's part of what's important about you and the other people who've gone before you. Leave a legacy yeah. and do something for somebody else. That's because when you look back, has it been a blessing to you? Yes, it has. Absolutely. It really has. It's Absolutely. been a wonderful place to teach and for my for our daughters to mm -hmm, grow up. Mm -hmm. I lost my husband about 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And of course, we've been married a long, long time and I do miss him so much. I know, I know. I lost but, my husband five years ago and it's Well, tough. we can emphasize yeah, with each yeah. other. You know, you'll have to start riding in the widow wagon with us. I have a black suburban. Well, good. Our preacher named it the widow wagon because I usually have seven widows with me. Well, good. Just let me know about it and I'll be ready to go. <laughs> well, Miss Lucy Van Doren is kind of my sidekick. And then I we love load, Lucy. She's oh, a really sweet she's Person. precious. We load all the grannies up and I take them to singings. Well, how nice. And, and a couple of them have never driven and, and to me that's very strange that yeah. you never drove. But I have a great aunt who's 93 and she didn't start driving until she was 60. Well, you know, so, uh, my age there were a good many people who did not mm -hmm. learn to drive. My mother never driven. Yeah. But apparently I have little depth of vision and the cars came so close Wow. They appeared to. The children said they weren't that close, but how did I know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good thing maybe not to have caused a wreck. That's so right. Never See, I thought about that after trying a number of times. I said, mm -hmm. the Lord is saying, Kate, you don't need to drive. <laughs> you need to be educated. That's right. So, now, your children, do they still live near yeah, you? No, not here. They, okay. they, one, the older one lives in Decatur. I mean, no, I've got it backwards. The older one lives in Conyers, and she's a school teacher. Oh, wow. So you did she, make an impression. And she's retired. She taught many years, mm -hmm. and she has one daughter, and she will be getting married, the daughter, of course, my granddaughter, the June the 8th, 08, down at St. Simon, no, it's Jekyll. Mm -hmm. And then the other daughter is has married, but she's divorced. And she lives in Decatur. And they both are wonderful to me. They call me every day. Good. And they come and see me quite often. So now, I'm well taken care of. And, and you live close to town, don't yes, you? Yes, I live about a mile from town. Live where Payne and I live. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you, have you ever moved or have y'all lived there forever? Y yeah, yes, we had... We first lived, we've lived in three places in Pickens County. We lived in a little bitty house that, oh me, it was so little. And then we moved to uh, where, um, up on Main Street and lived there a while. I can remember when you lived on Main Street. And then yeah. we moved down, we're on Nally now. 
Well, you know, talk about a little house. Do you know the story about Josh Fitz and Lorraine? Their house was so tiny. Josh tells people they sat the TV in the house and they sat on the porch to watch the TV <laughs> through the window. So he is a side. He was, <laughs> he a, was side. a side. I know. I know. Now, he's gone. You know, the reason we decided to do words of wisdom is because of people like Josh Fitz and Dr. Perot and people who have gone on before them. You know, Dr. Boswell. We just yeah. lost him. There are so many treasures in this community. And, and you're one of those treasures. Well, I appreciate you are that. one of those treasures. And, and there are things that um, we need to talk, and we need to talk often because things that you take with you, um, you need to share. You need to share. And that's something I learned this year from Miss Lucy. She teaches me something every day. Yes, yeah, she's. She's a little bossy, and sometimes <laughs> she bosses me a little bit, and I just let her. <laughs> But it's so it's so wonderful to share your knowledge. Well, I appreciate that. I really this is quite a surprise. I was ever so we surprised. We bombarded. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't know we were going to do this, and we just said, "Come on, Miss Faye," yeah, well, <laughs> and it worked really out well. Nice. Now, guys, it really and truly, find somebody that you can visit with, like Miss Payne. She doesn't drive. You know, if you have elderly neighbors. Let's learn from those words of wisdom because the words of wisdom that you have shared with me today, maybe you'll impact a girl who's going to college now I and who so. decides that she wants to teach because teaching is honestly, besides the summers off, which is an awesome thing, you make an impact on a child. And what is that? Um, my son had a sign that he gave his teacher one time that said, teachers take a live wire and see that it's well grounded. <laughs> Nicholas was a live wire and a teacher made a difference in his life. Yeah. So you've made a difference in a lot of lives. I, I'm sure that's true and I enjoyed teaching. Most of the children were very nice children, mm -hmm. but I had a few that... Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Now remember folks, we'll be here every Wednesday with words of wisdom and I want you to share. Give me some ideas from Copper Basin to Ball Ground. Find me somebody that we can go and talk to and somebody who's as interesting as Miss Kate Payne and who will make an impact on your life. Remember, words of wisdom every Wednesday on North Georgia Now Today. So very, very precious. And you talk about a Southern Belle. She is certainly a Southern Belle, absolute Southern Belle. And so we got a little background music going on out here now. <laughs> well, you know, you can, you can talk over music. It's when they start singing that it gets to be a little bit difficult. Okay, we gotta turn off that audio, guys. We got there. You, ooh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, um, the weekend was interesting, and you said you saw some people from New York, some people from different areas that are coming in here. It was amazing. It's time to register to vote. If you're moving and you haven't registered to vote in the new area you just live in, you Definitely. better register to vote. I think the day is over now, but. Well, it's time for early, early voting. Early voting for the <coughs> primary opened on Monday, and I was the 79, 79 people had voted before me on Monday when I went to the courthouse. Not a resounding, you know, not a herd. What of are people. the things that were important on that ballot for you? Well, for me, the questions, you know, you've got people that are running for Senate, you've got people that are running for various offices. Some of the questions about what's happening in our world right now that impact the school. I felt like those were important to be asked questions about some of the voting rights that we're going through and what we're still living from at the end of the Trump administration mm -hmm. and this last election mm -hmm. that we have. Mm -hmm. And the fact of voting for me is just important because I'm like you, I intend to, to, to complain. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna be happy, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna complain. But if yeah. I don't vote, <coughs> I can't complain. But I've been to countries where people don't have the right to make a choice. Right. And I think it's just important that you get up and go. Yep. And our primary is on May the 24th, but we've got two Saturdays coming up where people can even go vote on Saturday if they work. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's the important thing. You could go to your county courthouse mm -hmm. or check in your county if you're not in one of our, our areas up here. Right. And find, because some of the places I know in Tennessee, they had some remote locations besides the courthouse that was open. But they had their primary was was yesterday was Tuesday was mm -hmm, yesterday. Mm -hmm. So Tennessee has already had their primary. They're ready now. <coughs> oh, They've got some runoffs that are going to have to happen. But some things that's, this will all be coming up in November. But it's just important. Mm -hmm. What do you want done with your school tax dollars? Do you want school tax dollars? Mm -hmm. What do you want done with some of, of the question of what do we do with absentee ballots? You know, right now these people that want a, a box sitting out on a corner somewhere where people can just drop an absentee ballot. There's, that's just begging for ballot stuffing. 
Absolutely, but if you don't get up and go answer those questions. It, my, my, my thing is one ballot, one vote, one person, that's it. It's very simple. When you see that dead people voted, when you see that people that live in Ohio voted in Ohio but then voted in Georgia too, you know that they probably do live in Ohio and somebody stole their ballot or in Georgia. Or that dead person voted in four different precincts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Something's wrong. We need to work on that. So I don't think we're such a trusting society right now and I think that I hope that people still do vote because I hope you don't get scared off. I want you to voice your opinion. And um, <clears throat> because we weren't here, today's the 4th, right? All day long. Okay, May the 4th. This is oh what God, it says. Oh my God, my mother's birthday's coming up. I'm glad you I, said this that. This is funny, y'all. We're not doing Facebook Live today because we get the static. We don't know. Our microphones, for some weird reason, don't like my cell phone now. I'm not sure what's up. But anyway, so this will be loaded to YouTube and you'll get to see it in its entirety. But I got tickled because <clears throat> it's a good thing we weren't doing Facebook because I got a call from the doctor's office while we were on that little break right there. And those so are calls that you really have to There's a calls I need to take. So, so anyway, I was kind of giggling because I said, well, see, there's a reason I didn't do our uh, Facebook Live today. So, okay, whenever you read God's Word, it is essential to ask Him to help you practically apply it to your life. Now, that's hard to do. Take a step that includes you believe what you read and you are going to live like it. Now this morning I got a call from my precious, precious mm. broker who does love me and she had the same problem I'm facing and um, hers was taken out and um, knock on wood she has never had any recurring problems but she said hers was not where mine is and mine is in another area that is a little bit more dangerous and she said you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Just keep that positive attitude that and positive. you're going to be fine. And she said, go to his word and you are going to be fine. And I said, absolutely. We all, when you got the diagnosis, you went to your church family and you said, please pray for me. So yesterday. And they literally did a laying on of the hands for me and that's what got me Yesterday through morning when very, very early I got the call, I'd been waiting. I mean, because for a year we've been labs and labs and watching and labs and watching and labs and watching and I just kept quiet waiting, hoping that it never did anything weird. And then it did something weird and I was like, dang it. So you get that, ugh, didn't want this to happen. But it is in God's perfect plan. So. I immediately went to my friends and said, please pray. And I called my, you know, it's like get my sister, get my friends, get everybody praying because prayers are answered. And Selena is a, is a walking, she's a walking You'll miracle be because of at prayers. Airport this afternoon, yeah, as yeah. Soon as this show's over, I'm and that's what we on. want. We want every single body out there praying for complete healing, complete gone away. I, I always think about. My husband's doctor looked at him and said, Mr. Martin, you have a traveling cancer and I'm going to try to cut its trip short. So that's my goal is whatever I am facing, we're going to cut its trip short. We're going to put up a roadblock. We're going to end it, not going anywhere else, be done with it. Over. Over. We're going to take care of these little stinkers. Over. Them little stinkers. She called it a bad word, y'all, and I wouldn't let her say the bad word on no, there. No, I can't say what Although it is. Although I totally it, agreed with her. It, it, well, it, it is. <laughs> I totally agreed with is. her. <laughs> but they are little stinkers. But now, I, I've been through two big cancer battles with two wonderful men, and I look at how very different medicine is today. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, a 22 month years James ago. Died, a month yeah. after James died, a medicine came out that could have extended his lifetime probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every, it's changing every day. So the important thing is, is that we go, we pay attention, right. we take care of it, make up your mind. Because don't fret about it. Be positive. You because know, if you, there isn't anything else you can do. And, and quit second guessing because yesterday when one hospital told me we can't get to you until I said, oh, no, 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 that's unacceptable. So I immediately get my friend, the amazing, the, the talented, the wonderful, the creative, Carol Cook, who gave me her surgeon's information. And somebody asked me, they said, well, what if you choose another surgeon and he's not as good as the first one? I said, this is God's plan. And, and it was God's plan that I was talking to Carol and explaining to mm -hmm. her what I was facing and I knew she'd had a bunch of surgery and she gave me this amazing doctor. So it's all in God's plan. Well, you, you know, know, I said to somebody, I said, 
I can't wait three months for this. We're no. playing with my life. When they told me I was going to have to, I said, oh, no, you don't understand. I said, I'm, I'm about to fall apart. We're not waiting. I'm, I'm right on the borderline of losing my mind, so we can't do this. we got to get it. Michelle we got to zap it, Michelle be done, gone. Michelle went last week when they said, well, we probably need to do this in June. And she said, oh, no, we're not. Uh-uh. You no, tell me, you no. tell me which, which of the facilities <clears throat> you've got and, that and you can do And this is what I want to say to the to the doctor's offices. And, and I'm so thankful that I got somebody this morning who will take me immediately. I'm like, if this was you or your mama or your grandma or your aunt or whatever, would you want them to wait that long? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I know it's putting somebody else on the back burner, but then find somebody else who can do it. And 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 I kind of felt like, oh, well, I found a doctor who has time. Does that mean he's not good? No, it's because he works more hours in the office he's in. The doctor that they had cho chosen for me only works one day in the office that I was to be seen in. And I said, no, I'm not waiting that long. And you tell me no. where I have, you yeah. tell me it's my life. No. You tell yeah. me where I'm not I have doing to that. Be, which is why I'm going down to Big North Side in exactly. Atlanta. Exactly, exactly. Grew up when they were building that facility. Exactly. That's, and besides, we'll get some chopped liver out of it. No, don't bring me any. Can't, can't do it. No, don't do that. Uh, no, can't do that. You can't do chopped liver anymore. I can't do anything anymore. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> oh. But, yeah. Mm -mm. But on Saturday, um, we talked about this a little bit earlier, and Susan brought us something. Guys, is it ready? The parade ready? How many entrants did we you good? have? How many animals did you have? I don't know. Is it ready? Yes. Okay. Um, again, I'm a, once I get down to ball ground, I don't like leaving. I don't like running back up and down the road. I run up and down the road enough. If y'all can see my mileage, I turn in on my, on my. Well, I covered the North Market for you on the weekend crazy. talking about you. It's I crazy. I talked about you on Saturday, so. But Saturday, I did come back to Gilmer County, and I had a blast. It was so much fun, and then just. It, it was just, I needed it. I needed a little lift in my spirits. And so. And you love animals so much. And St. Patrick's Day and, is so And it cute. was goats and, and precious dogs. And I saw this beautiful golden lab who reminded me of yours. And oh, it was just, it was just a good, good day. So again, to focus for doing what you do for Gilmer County Animal Shelter. Thank you so much. Again, to Gilmer County who does what they do to maintain a no-kill shelter. Charlie Paris being our commissioner that I just adore him. He is the nicest, nicest guy and he truly cares about Gilmer County and I, it was a joy to be in Gilmer County on Saturday. So thank you everybody. We're going to go now to the parade. I haven't seen this. I have no idea who's in it, what's in it, what it is, but here we go as we visited and there were people walking, people riding, people laughing, people. It, it was just a good day. So here we go to the focus parade that was here on Saturday in LJ. <laughs> Following Viking Outdoor is Miss Sherry Martin, driven by Dwight Sanford in his 1957 Ford. Sherry is the host and producer of The Sherry Show, seen on ETC TV3. Rescue is a no-kill, not-for-profit volunteer organization in LJ. Their mission is to rescue and rehome unwanted companion animals and to reduce their overpopulation through education, spay and neuter, environment, and adoption. They rescue both dogs and cats to provide them with a safe and nurturing environment with the objective of locating Okay, you got a little tidbit of the parade. I think we have a little bit longer and we might do it later and put it up on YouTube. We'll see about that. It was a little bit tough to download. I think today we had a little download uh, experience. But anyway, it was fun. It was a lot of fun and thank you very much. The and commercial for it and to, to Mr. LJ who drove me, it was, it was hysterical because I just, uh, I, Susan said, you're going to ride in a red 57 Ford. And I said, okay. So I get here and I have on a red shirt to match the car, of course. And then I looked and I said, that's not a red car. That's a red and white car. I could have worn a white shirt. But I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> whatever but it was fun so thank you mr ella j for doing that for me and uh, everybody knows his music everybody knows his songs but me so it was kind of funny how many <laughs> animals were in I mean, what was the most interesting animal you saw in the parade some of the cute little goats some of the cute little goats and were they and, behaving? and the kids and the kids and the families and the joy and and the people who truly love their did animals did the lady have the snake around her neck i didn't see that thank goodness you had warned me about that and i did not see that i'm very thankful i didn't because that was something yeah i didn't want to do that 
Now today we actually have some more Mother's Day photos and we're going to share that as we go off the air today. There's something about Mother's Day, it is very hard for some moms because maybe they've survived and all their children have gone on to heaven. There are some days where maybe your child is in prison today. Maybe your child is estranged but from you. But you still love them. And you still love them because a mother's heart is pure and forever. And I have a thing in my bedroom that, or in my bathroom that the kids gave me years and years ago. And it says something about your prayers and your lover is my wings. I, I can't remember exactly. I wish I'd brought it today. But one of the kids gave that to me many, many, many years ago. And I always think about no matter where your child is, you have the ability to pray for your children. So whatever well, you know, you're facing. And we didn't even talk about the Judds. No, we don't want to. But that that's so, so sad. sad. So sad. To lose her at that So age. sad. So sad to. Um, we still don't really know what happened. No. Well, we kind of do. But it's very, very sad. And, and mental depression, I know what it is. I know how you face it. I know how hard so it is. Tough. And I, I know the results of it. So, But we're going to go now to our Mother's Day special. I hope that the timing is just perfect because Donovan put this together at the last minute because Sherry shows up and I'm with 274 pictures. <laughs> and he's like, okay, I can do this. For y'all for y'all who have enjoyed In the Garden, you've enjoyed the veterans tribute he did, the churches that we went all over North Georgia and took pictures of churches and Donovan put it together. So many projects this kid did as a teenager and today he is joining the ranks of ETC and he's going to be, I hate to say it, but after all these years, <laughs> we're losing somebody because he's going to make a whole lot more money somewhere else doing something else and I, oh, you know, but, but, but Donovan's coming back home and that is really, really cool. At the loss of his mom, he gets to come back home. He gets to be with his dad. He gets to be part of the place he grew up in. And no, it's not Sony television and all that big stuff that he could be doing, but he's going to be doing something he's going to love. But you know, there's something warm about being home. Something, something good about it. You something know, good about it. Good to be so, home again. We so know, I we think, have a song that I think we like on this that. one, you will see some photos, maybe of his mom. And um, <clears throat> if your mom is not here and you have to visit a cemetery like I do, just know that they are watching over you. And from above, you have these amazing powers. And I hope my mom's sending me some healing powers. And I'll, you know, we probably will gonna, we'll probably play this one out, but I want to tell, tell you Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And you're in my thoughts and prayers. Thank and you. You, me too. We're going to get through this. And we're yeah. all going to get yeah. through this. And we are. It's, it's part of life. I don't know if y'all have noticed or not, but we're two tough old broads. <laughs> we are. We, so we are we tough go. old broads. Here we go to the Mother's Day tribute. Bye-bye, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Yay.